what's up my scrubs? It's about that time for episode three of Sally Face. Will we find the point of the mask? We don't know. If you missed the last two, be sure to check them out. Uh, I, it over here. Yeah, this way, this, this, this way, yeah. Oh yeah, we kind of did start it a little bit last time because it kind of just went right in. But I had to end the episode last time, so, okay. This is called the baloney incident. Why? What in the world happened with baloney? Is this real? Am I dreaming? White room. It enough. You. That. <laughs> it's a lot of uh, weird text. Yeah, we keep seeing this face thing. Others, a piece of crap burp keeps not must. YouTube lot of red. <laughs> I say YouTube. It's like we're like, I said we're like grown up in prison. Prison break. The only one who lived is dead now? Huh? What should I do? Huh? Run! Oh yeah, I forgot I need to run for this thing! I don't even know like what I'm doing! I think these need to go down though. Because I didn't know what the heck to do. Oh, there used to be a door here. Does that mean that I made it? <laughs> I hope. Is it true that you've chosen to forego legal help in favor of representing yourself? Yes. I've got nothing to hide. Can you speak uh, to your conviction of being an innocent man? Are you sticking with the story you've told the police? I will share the truth. Are you saying your original story wasn't true? Oh, I already we already played this, huh? Can you comment on the supposed uh, alleged killing of your mother? Oh well, we'll just keep going. I mean, it's just a recap of what happened at the end of last episode. How do you explain no witnesses or evidence of any such person? I don't see the relevance of that now. Is it true that they are going to add the Sanderson murder to your charges? That would be news to me, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to pin that on me, too. And what about Charlie Mansfield? I have nothing to say about him right now, except that I did what I thought was right at the time. Okay, since we are getting any major details from you, let me ask our highest, highest pulled question. The viewers are very interested in this one. Is it true that you were granted special meal privileges because you were afraid of baloney? <laughs> I'm not afraid of lunch meat, okay? I just, well, it's a long story. And it goes something like this. Your trial is still a few hours away. I think we have plenty of time. Ugh. All right. I. What does baloney have to do with any of this? All right. Episode three. Sal Fisher, Mr. Doodle. What if I were more than just a doodle? All right. This is weird. Hello, are you okay? All right, sorry to ask. What's wrong with your friend? He sought the truth and the truth destroyed his soul. Now please leave us alone. Your head will frighten the children. Can you tell me where your friend ventured to find enlightenment? He traveled to the wise prophet beyond the fields of death, but a round head like you will never make it. All right then. This is not what I expected. <laughs> Are you okay? What happened to your limbs? Well, I never. How would you feel if I asked what happened to your weirdly shaped head? <laughs> I didn't mean to offend. I was... <laughs> Go bother someone else. You know, it is kind of rude. Hello, miss. Uh, don't pay any mind to my sister. She's been cranky lately because of the sun. How did you know that? I'm just, I'm just curious. It's no problem. Our ancestors were mauled by the great beast. Ever since our people are drown, uh, drawn without limbs... Or if it's just in, what sort of beast could do that? We do not speak of such things. If you want to know more, you'll need to seek out the oracle beyond the death fields. Alright. Oh, is that the beast? Are you the great beast? Well, freak you too, friend! No, I'm sorry, don't pay me any mind. My temper rises with the sun. The great beast hasn't been uh, seen for over 100 years. Do you know where the prophet is? You mean the crazy old hag who lives beyond death? Just take that ladder down. It's always a ladder down. Well, we're going down then. 
Hello? Uh, you shouldn't have come here. Where am I? A dark place. Is this the field of death? Horrible things happen when the sun burns out. Everyone's talking cryptic messages. Oh god, this is truly the field of death. The heck? Are you the prophet? I am called many names by the sticks. Do you know about the great beast? It crawled through the great hole many years ago. It ravaged the sticks for decades, then was laid to rest by a magnificent explosion in the sky. Most believe the beast to be dead, though. We know better than that. What is the great hole? Uh, e, it's your mom. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't. I can't help it. Eons ago, we created a great hole in the papery fabric of this world. The hole that contains all of the knowledge in the universe. How do I get there? Uh, what is the truth worth to you? Everything. Is this like something that we freaking Sal just doodled or what? Oh, this is the great hole. This is pretty creative. Is this someone just messing around on their paper? <laughs> <laughs> My face! Kind of scary. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Fisher. Sal, wake up! Oh, huh? That doesn't look like math to me. Oh, so why does everyone in this game look so ugly? <laughs> like, not not that the game looks bad, but like they're purposely drawn scary. Oh, sorry, I must have dozed off. I already finished the test. Oh, uh, I know, dear. You aced it as well. Very good. Just try to stay away for the remainder of class, okay? Sure, it won't happen again. Oh, why, why are you dogging me over there? Huh, purple shirt? And Mr. Phelps, eyes on your own paper. <laughs> Class is almost over. Make sure everyone hands in their tests before leaving. Hey, freak. Oh, hey, there's that girl that we met last uh, episode. Uh, nobody likes a goody two-shoe Sally face. Of course, that's what they call uh, Sal. Nobody likes a cliche bully, Travis. Hey, that's pretty good, though. Don't you have somewhere, uh, something better to do? Shut up, B. I wasn't talking to you. You know, if you took that stick out of your butt, you may actually enjoy yourself for once. Maybe even, uh, make a friend or two. Freak off. Ooh, bad word. I have- I have more friends than you'll ever have. You kiss your daddy with that tongue? I'm sure he- Oh. What the hell, a-hole? Are you alright, Sal? I'm fine. Come on, let's report that jerk. I'm sure the mask, like, took some of the blow, but he still shouldn't have done that. No, don't worry about it. That'll just make things worse. Trust me. I've dealt with bigger bullies than Travis before. Sal, you're bleeding. I'm okay, really. Here, let's use my bandana. Oh, here we go. Show and, little show and tell action here. There you go. Wait, hold on. If you can't, I'm... Oh! Aw, uh, she's nice about it, too. There, looks like it was just a small scratch. Don't worry, you can hardly see it. Uh, thanks, Ash. Man, I mean, that could kind of be seen as a little disrespectful without even... Maybe she's seen uh, Sal's face before, you know? God, I really hope it shows what it, what it, what Sal's face looks like towards the end of the game. And I have not been spoiled yet, so this is great. Dude, what happened? Was it Travis again? That prick, I'll kill him. Uh, Larry, I'm fine. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, Sal's right. If we stirred the pot, it could just make things worse. Not if he's dead. Then he'll probably just haunt the school and would be stuck with that bonehead for the next two years. Uh, says the uh, group skeptic. You know, I love you guys, but the ghost stories are a bit much even for me. So we're really just gonna let this Travis thing go? It's not worth it. Plus, uh, think about it. Who knows what his home life is like? He's got a lot of pent-up rage. There must be a reason. Wow, that's a pretty level head way to think about it. Yeah. Especially when it's, uh, freaking a bully. I'm sure he's just angry that they switched bologna sandwich day to tomorrow. Ooh! Alright, how is this gonna... Uh, how is this gonna play in, into the story? Seriously, I've never seen anyone uh, love the crappiest lunch day so much. It's like a prison meal and he doesn't even like pizza Fridays. Who doesn't like pizza? It's inhuman. Maybe he's an alien. That's all we need. Psst, Larry, uh, I'll help you kill Travis when Sal isn't looking. I heard that. Oh, this is like the little friend group. The next day, the baloney day. Yo, why is it getting creepy? Knock fell high school. Dude, this whole story starts with baloney. Crazy.
Oh my god. I'm just, just not what I... Oh my god. Oh my god. Does that baloney smell funny to you guys? I thought last week's was a little off-putting, but it seems to be worse this week. I heard it's made from goat meat. Of course the green-haired one's freaking eating it. Didn't a bunch of kids call in sick the day after baloney day last week too? I hate you guys. Don't ruin lunch for me, please. That's the only good part of the day. Group puddle? I'm in. Me too. Count me in. Have fun. I'm going to stay here with Chug. We need to find out if there's anything wrong with this bologna. Maybe there was a batch of bad beef or it's expired or something. Or bad goats. I'm telling you, the dude sh uh, <laughs> I wasn't gonna say a bad word. Crap, it's funky. Uh, don't uh, taste like no beef to me. The product is most likely a blend, a blend of low-cost meat components from different sources of beef, pork, chicken, and or turkey. Todd, man, you're making my stomach turn. This is like the hot dog incident all over again. Ugh, I hope not. So that's the thing. I know hot dogs are made from, like, everything, and it's like... It's really disgusting, but at the same time, it's so good. Sal might be onto something. There could be an issue with the lunch meat. I'd like to take our sandwich to the science lab. Well, I mean, I don't know. Take a look at that freaking lunch lady. She didn't seem too clean. And see if I can find any bacteria or signs of expiration. However, it would be helpful to know what the exact ingredients are. Luckily, in my school, the lunches weren't that bad, but I've seen some pictures of lunches these days. Dang, they look rank. They look bad. Uh, okay, Ash, you go to uh, to Todd and help him in the lab. Larry and I will try to get more information on the baloney. Uh, sounds like a plan. Is that all following me? Where's lunch lady? It's the knock fell warriors. Oh, there's Travis. I thought I smelled trash. What are you flamers up to? What is the flamer? Is that even? How's that even a bad word? Get bit, Travis. Don't you have some sandwiches to attend to? You're lucky it's baloney day. He obviously has a black eye. Or is that pink eye? What is that? Her name's Kim? Uh, hi, Kim. We wanted to ask about the baloney. Could you tell us where the school buys it from? Why would you want to know about baloney, eh? Something wrong with Kim's cooking? Uh, no, no. We were just wondering where it... You can go and sit back to chairs now. No more questions. Uh, do you think we could just see the package? Or no package just for you. Just butts and chairs go on calling it right now it's made out of students all right it's just like kindergarten all over again well that was a failure she always seems so unhappy i wonder why she stays here it's like the kids make her sick or something dude what if kim is poisoning the lunches i don't know if this town has uh room for another conspiracy theory though i guess it's worth looking into why don't you see if you can sneak into the principal's office to look at her files while you do that i'll check in with todd all right i'll see what i can do all right let's go down the hall cafeteria Oh, there's a lot of missing people. Very concerning. I don't know why this game somehow does give me kindergarten vibes, even though it doesn't look like that at all. I can't see them. They must be hiding. Okay, I don't know why I'm checking out the birds right now. The teachers are in there eating lunch. Oh, science lab. Yeah, I think we were supposed to go in here. There's Todd. Uh, find anything? Not yet. Were you able to get the baloney ingredients? No, not yet. Or Zash. She went to get some materials for me. I recommended she look in the janitor's closet. I thought she'd be back by now, actually. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's gonna turn to get turned to baloney, man. <laughs> Look at the evolution. <laughs> Ooh, sticky tack. Hey, what did I just get? Sticky tack? I honestly didn't even see it over there. I don't want to get ahead of myself, although this pa paper clip looks important. Oh god, math. Don't even don't even get me started. Math was like probably my worst subject in school, for sure. Like, can we go to the girls' bathroom? I better not. What about the boys' bathroom? Is anyone in here? Okay, they open for whatever reason. Maybe we're gonna have to come back in here. Uh, hey Sally Face, how's the detective work going? Not great so far, but we're still looking into it. You guys are wasting your time on this one. I'm telling you, this is good baloney. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it. Uh, yeah, you look like you're just perfect health. <laughs> He's like literally... I know everyone in this game is like a different color, but like... His hair is probably green from the baloney. Everything tastes good to you, buddy. Uh, she has a point there, Chug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, any... Would you say she? <laughs> in any event, I hope you're right. Or did I misread that? I probably did misread it. A picture of us from Halloween. That was so fun. I'm lucky to have such great friends. Aw. Oh, Ashley's locker. Oh, I can just open her locker? I guess we know the combination. Oh, hey, it's me. I didn't know she had this in her locker. Aw. Some of Ash's photos. One is an older picture of her and Larry. I'm so glad I met those two. Uh, Ash makes these stuffed dolls. I think they're cool. She calls them little dudes. 
Uh, Ash's Art Supplies. Ash and Larry are such good artists. They try to teach me, but I'll never be as good as they are. It's okay. I've, I, yeah, that makes sense because we did see some paintings and stuff. It's okay. I have fun painting and drawing with them, and they never make me feel bad for not being good at it. Uh, so that was a good friend. Oh, wait. Her camera. She's always snappy pictures with it. Uh, it should come in handy. I'm sure she won't mind if I borrow it. I'm assuming we're going to need it. So I'll just... I'll just yoink that. Corn. <laughs> Slay. Oh, uh, yeah. That's cool. Just a bunch of knockoff like bands. <laughs> yeah, the Triforce. Definitely Zelda stuff. I, that's the second Zelda reference I've seen. That's one of my paintings. I was going to throw it out, but Larry insisted that, on keeping it. He said, great art doesn't need to be beautiful as long as it conveys genuine emotion. And I feel the crap out of this, man. I really do. That's cool, man. Everyone needs a friend like Larry. But he does die. We do know that. So why? I think it's older draw drawing the Ash Mage. She actually thought uh, taught Larry a lot of what he knows now. She's a great teacher. We may have never became close if it weren't for Larry. Larry's art stuff is so messy in a way. I sort of admire that carefree mindset. Okay. Well, there doesn't seem anything of like value here. Oh, this is Todd's locker. Todd and his boyfriend Neil. They're always so happy when they're together. That makes me happy too. I had no idea. Okay. Not much of a surprise that Todd's locker is half filled with books. I really admire his passion. The potato light thingy was a science experiment that Todd showed in class. I'm surprised it's still going. That's cool. All right, I'm pretty sure eventually we're gonna uh wait help Larry. Okay, so we need to make a noise. Sticky tack camera. Oh, the paperclip was to get into the lockers. I didn't even know that. Stick. Okay, so this is it's kind of fun to play with. Okay, so we need to collect some more stuff. We need to make a noise. I thought we were supposed to look for Ash, though, but okay. Maybe we could pull, like, the fire alarm? That that would make a loud noise. That would make the teachers definitely leave. I mean, there it is, but I, where would we pull it? Can we make a fire? I'm telling you, I'm on to something. Oh, a science lab. I don't think we've been in here yet. No, nope, I'm so stupid. Yes, we did. I thought about, like, 50 things we could do, but I don't know how to do them. Oh, there, there's Ash. What the heck? I haven't even been over here. Hey, what's wrong? The dang closet is locked. I need something in there to test the baloney. I tried to pick the lock uh, like Larry showed me, but now my hairpin is stuck in the keyhole. It's jammed up good. Uh, could use some pliers to get that out, but yeah, they'd be in the closet or with the janitor, but he always leaves for lunch. I'll see what I can find. Thanks. In the meantime, I'm gonna uh, get a sticky tack, maybe? In the meantime, I'm going to keep trying to get this out. Hey, I oh, freaking, I called it. It's worth a shot. Awesome, it came out, and I was able to get the door unlocked, too. I must have been uh, close to getting it open with the pin. All right, now that I've got it, I need time to head back to the old lab. Cool, I meet up with you and Todd in a little while. I have to figure out a way to get this uh, the ingredients first. Cool. I love it when it comes together. Courtyard. I've been, I've been out here, haven't I? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. I just, had to, I just had to press the tree enough. I've been searching around everywhere. Okay, so now I got a ball. I guess throw the tennis ball at the window. I didn't. I didn't even look that up either. I just like happened to stumble upon that. Throw. Well, that'll do it, huh? What was that? I don't know. It sounded like it came from outside. I don't see anything. Neither do I. Maybe it's those dang birds again. Oh, maybe I could throw them at the birds. Did that really not work? Oh, I gotta keep doing it, maybe. No? Oh, no, it really did distract him. Okay, cool, it worked. I thought it didn't work for a second. Did you get past? Yeah, good thinking with that distraction. Dude, I saw her file. Awesome, anything to help us? Well, I had to book it, so I didn't get a good, a really good look, really. If you can distract the teachers again, maybe I can take, a, take the file? No, we don't want to draw attention to ourselves by stealing the file. All right, you're the boss, Sally, what, so what should we do? Give me a minute. I'll think of something. Uh, what about the camera? Take a picture of it? Yeah, here, use Ash's camera to take a picture of the files. See, it's always nice when you get the items first. I love it when games let you do that. Great, thank you, dude. Uh, ready when you are. Yeah, I'm ready. I guess I gotta just distract them again. Well, it's so, uh, nice that the exit is so close. Those birds again? I don't know. It sounded like it came from outside. Uh, they literally said the same exact thing. They're like NPCs, like literally. Did you get it? Dude, the file's missing. How can that be? No one else could have went in there without you seeing them. Just jerking your chain, man. I got the picture. I hate it when people do this. And it, it, I, 
all my friends and even my wife always pull this crap on me where it's like they just they know that you really need something and then they'll just say oh well i couldn't find it or it's missing just to mess with you are you one of those people <laughs> stop because it gives me a heart attack oh you butt nozzle score let's take a look at it kim yazzie uh lunch lady her hire date was in 1992 dang her previous employment was amateur nature photographer. Kim has uh, elephantiasis. It is not contagious and she is sensitive to it. Make sure the other teachers know. Tell Kim to stop feeding the birds in the courtyard. Other teachers getting annoyed. Oh. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the lab. I'm not sure if I can make the connection yet, but uh, let's keep going. Oh. They still want me to get the baloney? All right. <laughs> I guess something's gonna happen. Okay, so it just says tell Kim to stop feeding the birds. Maybe we gotta go back to the birds? And maybe they'll distract her. Ah. When the birds hit the window, they're gonna be like, oh, she's doing it. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, I gotta look for the birds? It's probably gonna make the birds go crazy. I'm so sorry, birds. Oh, maybe I gotta show her a picture of the bird. I got something for you. What? A photograph? What? A photograph of birdie? You take picture, eh? Yeah, I took it for you. Just a small thanks for the hard work that you do. You're a sweet boy, Sally. Thank you. So I was wondering, can you tell me where the school uh, buys a baloney from? Why are you so interested in baloney for? Oh, well, uh, my friends and I really uh, like it and want to know where we can get some. It's local made by Mr. Uh, Mrs. Packerton, 100% beef. She brings uh, from farm once a week. Here, I gave you some extra meats for uh, bringing Kim nice photograph. Thank you so much. Oh, it's very easy to get baloney in this school. It's slimy and has a strong odor. Baloney is not good. Like, it's only edible. It's only edible a little bit if you cook it, I think. But, I like, when I was growing up, we always had baloney, and I don't know why. It's awful. It really is. It doesn't taste good. I don't know who thinks it tastes good. You've convinced yourself uh, with, a, with a lie. It does not taste good. I'm probably gonna get all the baloney haters in my comments right now. What'd you say? What'd you say about my baloney? That's right, your baloney's trash. Thinly sliced ham all day. <laughs> like ham, turkey, it's way better than baloney. Get your baloney out of here. I don't wanna, I don't wanna see it. Got more baloney, perfect. Kim said that it made it was made by Mr. Pa Mrs. Packerton. I keep saying Mr. Whoa, no way, dude. She lives in the apartments. How could she make her own lunch meats? Oh, oh yeah, I forgot she lives there. I hardly ever see her. I've probably seen her in the building uh, twice since I moved here. Uh, she uh, tends to return at late hours. I believe that she keeps multiple jobs. Okay, that makes more sense. I thought she just like lived there. It's like, where's she getting the baloney from? Teachers don't get paid as well as you may think, so it's fairly common. However, m when Mrs. Packerton is home, she makes quite a lot of noise. It's very peculiar. So what do we do? Should we ask Packerton about this odd side business of hers? Or are you boys uh, going to do your whole detective thing? Eh, I don't know. What do you think, Sal? Let's do a little snooping before going to Packerton. I don't think the way this is... I don't like the way this is playing out. If something nefarious is going on, it best be not to let Packerton know that we're looking into it. Agreed. Good call, Sally. All right, why don't you and Larry go to uh, check out Miss uh, Miss Packerton's classroom while the teachers are on break? Todd and I will finish testing this baloney. Exactly what I was thinking. Okay, we'll be back. Well, I found a paper clip that we uh, have yet to use. All right, I need you to bring my uh, be my lookout. Wait by the door in case anyone comes down here. You got it. Dang, she keeps her desk door locked. Do you remember how to pick? Hey, okay, I get it now. <laughs> There's no keyhole. What the heck? A combo lock? Dude, how the heck are we gonna get that thing open? Uh, let me take a look at it. Uh, I don't remember seeing any numbers. Oh my god, are you really gonna make me solve this freaking equation right now? I can't solve that. Oh, is it three, four, is it, okay, is it pi, three, one, four, one? Oh. <laughs> okay, cool, I guess I got it. Nice one, dude. What's inside? Just a bunch of math papers and... Hold on, there's a hidden compartment. Man, there's some freaky stuff in here. Uh, I I'm not sure. Oh, she done that witchcraft from that game from last episode. Little jars filled with what looks like spices, maybe for cooking. Why does she have a bird school in here? That's kind of creepy. It's a Bible. The book is really old, but there's uh, isn't anything special about it. A bunch of papers with random notes and symbols scribbled on them. Looks like they're written in some other languages. I can't make any sense of it. 
crystals? They're actually kind of cool. I wonder what uh, Packerton uses them for. I'm telling you, it's nothing good. A strange metal object similar to Jim's puzzle. Oh, is hey, is this the other piece? Hey, there's another one of those metal boxes like the... Uh-oh. Is it happening again? Yeah, I... What do you mean, is it happening again? What the heck? Are you sure? You could just be dehydrated. You didn't eat anything for lunch either. It's done. It's already over. But never mind. Let's go, go check in with Tom and Ashley. Todd and Ashley. Okay, so uh, maybe with, with that whole Game Boy game that we played, maybe that explains something as to why uh, Sal's having these nightmares. Not nightmares, but... Well, I guess, I think Sal is having nightmares, huh? But, like, these, like, visions. Maybe it has something to do with why her mom's dead. Or his mom's dead. I don't know why I said her. Hey, guys, we found some sketchy things in Patrick's desk. How are you, uh, how are the tests coming? We're not getting any signs of harmful chemicals or bacteria. However, I think we can all agree that there's something peculiar going on here. Whatever it is, let's not mention this to Chuck for now. The poor kid almost had a heart attack when they stopped serving meatloaf. <laughs> yeah, Ash is right. Let's keep this under wraps until we know for sure what's going on. Well, I guess we know what we have to do now. I'm gonna miss the action again. I have to watch Ben until my parents get home. Maybe I can uh, help after that, though. Later that day. Are we back at the apartment? Yep. I need a few minutes to get ready. Uh, that's cool. I have to take care of something first anyway. Okay, let's meet up in Todd's room once everyone's ready. Yes, perfect. Cool. Oh, did you finish the book that you were reading? I did. You seem to be enjoying it. What's wrong? You didn't like the ending? Most story endings are a lie we tell ourselves to create a false sense of hope. Why? What do you mean? There are no happy endings in real life, Sal. We all get the same terrible ending, death. You can't know that for sure, Rose. And even if that were true, uh, doesn't that make life even more precious? It's our one chance to shine as brightly as we can before the long night claims us. That's why I try to live the best life I can, just in case the, it's the only one I get. Not for you, my boy. Huh? Oh, never mind, child. I admire your optimistic view of life. It's something I had lost a long, a long time ago, I'm afraid. Can you tell the future? You know if we're going to freaking prison or something? I don't know. If, well, we don't know for sure if that's actually true. But it sure does look like uh, it. What do you want, Sal? I just wanted to see how you were doing. I may be old, but I can take care of myself. Thank you very much. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> they got a poster now? 25 cents for tenants. Oh, they're charging now. Good evening, Sally. How are you on this fine day? Hey, Miss uh, Mr. Addison. I, I'm good. How are you? Uh, I'm I'm well, young sir. Any new tenants? I'm afraid not, though. We do have someone coming to look at the room next week, so hope is on the horizon, I suppose. I'm sure your luck will improve soon, Terrence, and if anything uh, you ever need help with, don't hesitate to ask. That's very kind of you, Sal. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, do you like the new sign? I love it. Thanks to you and Larry. It almost feels like I'm having my own little tea house now. I do miss giving out my teas uh, to tenants. However, I simply can't afford to keep up with that. I'm going... I'm glad you like it. I think it's totally reasonable to charge for the tea. Everyone understands. That's wonderful to hear. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't... I, I wouldn't want to do that. Although, I remember when I was growing up, there was this one old lady who would give cookies on her, like, windowsill. Like, that's old school crap. But I, and I thought that at that time too, and I was like, man, that's crazy. I'm sure she's probably not around anymore, but I mean, that's like, that's so wholesome. It really is. You just don't see that anymore. All right, the first thing I definitely want to do is take this piece right here and uh, go see if it fits in that one thing. But I'm assuming we'll touch on that at some point during this chapter. That seems pretty important to the story. Uh, it looks like Lisa got a bouquet of flowers for someone. There's a note. It says, get well soon. Wishing you the best, Henry. She's still sick. Dang. I don't know how much further ahead this is, though. Uh, hi, Asel. Uh, how are you today? I'm okay. How you been feeling? Didn't the doctor say to take it easy for a while? Oh, I'm fine, sweetie. Don't you worry about me. Besides, we got problems with the plumbing that need my attention. What? Why is it green? Mr. Addison has had enough on his plate to worry about. I can't keep lying around all day. Is there anything that we can help with the least? Dude, don't bother trying to talk sense to my mom. You know she's even more stubborn than me. Larry? Uh, we haven't even seen Larry, I don't think. Oh, hush, my little lar bear. Mom, don't call me that. Uh, oh, you love it. Anyways, I appreciate your offer, Sal, but I can handle a little plumbing work. It's really no problem. Plus, moving around uh, will do me some good. If you say so, just don't push yourself too hard, okay? And if you need any help, let us know. You got it, bud. Thanks, Sal. All right, it says meet in 202. You can't see that, but oh well. That's all you need to know. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> 
Shastano's girl. Hi, Mrs. Uh, Morrison. Hey, Sally, are you boys off to another adventure? Something like that. I think that's just so wonderful. Life is filled with potential adventures and beautiful mysteries that are just waiting to be explored and experienced. You're totally right about that. Yeah, I just gotta seize the moment, though. Sometimes it's nice to relax on the couch after a long day, you know. Ray and I were just watching some television, and then he passed right out like a little baby. Isn't he the cutest? Sure, I guess so, but you guys don't have a TV. <laughs> Yeah, isn't it so nice with all that without all that noise? Yeah, well, I better get going. Are you ready? Uh I probably missed some stuff, but I don't really care. I just want to see what happens. What's the new gadget? Oh, you weren't supposed to see that yet. It was just going to be a surprise. What is it? Among other things, it's a portable amplifier with custom effects that can be used to upgrade your guitar. That's amazing, Todd. You are a genius. I can't wait to try it out. Unfortunately, you have to wait a while. There are still a few parts I'm waiting on in the mail. Besides, we have more important things to focus on at the moment. Before we get started, you may want to go get your super gear boy just in case. Oh yeah, good thinking. I'll be right back. Oh, oh Chug? This is where Chug lives? Uh, what's wrong? I keep hearing creepy noises. Like, what kind of noises? You know, creepy kinds like scratching and moaning and stuff. Maybe it's just some nice uh, mice in the walls in the building creaking. Is it? A, it's an old building. Mice? That's not any better. I bet it's nothing. You want to hang out with me and the other guys? No, it's okay. Thanks, so. I can tell you guys are up to something again. Last time I came, I couldn't sleep for a week. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to tell you Megan said that she's sorry for scaring you. She's very sweet once you get to know her, but you kind of bolted right when she came out. I know, I mean, I bet she's nice. I tried. It's just too scary. Well, if you don't want to be alone, you're always welcome to hang out with us. I know. Thanks, Sally Face. Now, why are you standing here? I'm waiting for my parents to get home. They should be back already. Or should have. Uh, got any chocolate? Chocolates always make me feel better. Sorry, I don't have any. So I talk to him. It's a waste of time. Why do I feel like something bad's about to happen? Could just be me. Uh, dad's computer is on, uh, but I don't know his password. Maybe I can figure it out. Why would we need his password? Well, I'm sure that's not it. It probably wouldn't even fit. Well, it's 713, but I highly doubt that that's the password. It's an old photo from, of mom. I thought dad threw them all away. Hi, mom. I miss you. I hope that you're at peace. There's a handwritten note on the back. Henry, you are my sunshine in the darkness. I can't believe we're going to have a little boy. I'm so unbelievably happy. Everything is perfect. Love you always, Diane. Okay, I don't think that has anything to do with the password. I, I, just, I, I never get tired of Edward's shovel hands. Oh yeah, where's my tweaker cat? So I had to go back to work again tonight. I'll be home late. There are some leftovers in the fridge if you don't eat with Lisa and Larry. I'm sorry I haven't been available much lately. Maybe uh, we can go do something this weekend. Love, Dad. Oh my god! I just didn't expect anything like to zoom in like that! God! <laughs> oh, sorry, Gizmo. I didn't realize you were in here. God, it scared the life out of me! I just got scared by a cat in a bathtub! It's so sad! Alright, I got it. I got it. I've tapped into the security cameras and will be able to loop footage of the empty hallway until you two get, uh, get, get back. Be careful. I forgot what they're doing again. Well, they're obviously breaking in. Got it. Nice. We should uh, go quick before she gets back. Oh, yeah. We're trying to get into Mrs. Uh, whatever face's room. Dude, it smells like A in here. Butt and old feet. Uh, good lord. We better make the short visit. I can't take the stench for too long. Check out that painting. What if Packerson really just does work on a, a farm? I don't know. That painting gives me a really weird feeling like a cold chill. Well, yeah, I feel it too. Let's look around. The clock hands are stuck at 314. If I try to move them, they just go right back. Okay, we're probably gonna need to remember that. It's locked. There's a weird mechanism on the doorknob. A place to put a password, maybe? It's locked. Why would she lock all of her doors from the inside? Or I guess outside, really, but... It's a neat old radio, but it won't turn on. It must be broken. Huge Huggums? There's a big thing of diapers. Do you think Mrs. Packerson uses them for herself? Probably, dude. Packerson is ancient. Why are you just standing here? Wait, why is the fridge locked? That's concerning. Anything strange in the fridge? No, it looks like normal groceries and stuff, but there's a padlock on the freezer. Okay. Can you get it open? Yeah, just give me a minute. I'm telling you, humans are up in there for sure. Wait, it's filled with rolls of bologna along with uh, some frozen vegetables and other various foods. Nothing out of place, really. Yeah, bologna. That's a load of bologna. Oh, he got it. All right, let's open it up. Okay, 1047. Yeah, see? Told you some witchcraft crap was going on. I knew it. It is goats. I freaking called it, man. Oh, is it really goats? Well, that's better than humans. 
Uh, I feel like it can't be that simple. Let's see if we can get into those bedrooms. All right. I feel like I should be using this thing here. I forgot about this. Oh, I've yet to check the bathroom. Seriously, what is all the freaking green stuff coming out of the pipes? When's the last time she's cleaned this bathroom? They did say this stinks really bad, so she doesn't take showers. Oh, gross. There's a big old log in here. Ugh. Disgusting, dude. Oh. There we go. Oh, it's the goat. Uh, hi, little buddy. Oh, that's so freaking scary. What in the heck was that? A ghost goat, apparently. Uh, that probably shouldn't be surprising to me at this point, but I definitely did not see that coming. Oh, I can change the time now. Wait, it wasn't on before, was it? It's not one of those things where it's like reverse, right? Upside down, huh? Huh? Anyone? Maybe there's another spirit I can look at? <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what I should be doing. Wait, one, two, one, two! Oh! He, the goat gave you the answer all along! It's how many boss he did! One, two, one, two! I was like, what the heck is it? Oh my god, I was that was the only clue there was. That unlocked the first bedroom. Let's check it out. Thanks, goat. There's someone in here. Oh! Hello? Uh, Mr. Packerton? Uh, hello? I don't think he hears you. You're right, he looks like he's in some sort of vegetative state. Man, this is freaked and definitely uh, where the rancid smell is coming from too. Let's get a quick look around then and then get you out of here. Or get out of here. All these papers are talking about the death of Mr. Packerton. If he's dead, then who's laying in that bed? What I want to know is why the heck are there so many crap filled diapers in here? It's like seriously, like what the heck? I know what you mean. This apartment is making me super nauseous. You don't think she uses the... Wait. Wait, what? What? No, never mind. I don't even want to think about it. I think if the mystery ingredient was human craps, Todd would have seen some signs of that in the lab, right? I guess so. Well, honestly, I have no idea. Let's just hurry up in here. Are you Mr. Packerton? Blink if you can hear me. Hello? This is so freaking weird. Why is he tied up? Okay, well, there's definitely some spirits in here. Yeah. It's him? Young child, please help me. How can you be? Are you dead? I am in between suffering for what seems like an eternity. Did Mrs. Packerton do this to you? We were in love once, or so I thought. Yes, this is her doing. Please, you must help me escape this endless agony. What's in the baloney? Baloney, I'm afraid I don't know much about that. This room is my prison, my tomb of infinite sorrow. I can never leave this state. How can I help you? You must unplug the horrid machine. But it isn't that, wouldn't that? It will end my suffering. It will free me of this torment. But are you sure? Please, child, I beg of you. You must hurry before she returns. Yeah, I'm pulling that plug. Poor dude. I hope that was the right thing to do. You didn't have a choice, man. The poor guy was in so much pain, it's what he wanted. Yeah, I guess so. I just... Oh, crap. Quick, behind the dresser! If we don't make it out alive, I love you, dude. I love you too, man. You're the best friend I've, I've ever had, you know? Sorry, I just wanted you to get, get a good look at it. Same to you, little bud. She's not going to be happy. Oh! <laughs> even I didn't even think of that. Hey, sorry to ruin the moment, but what the heck is this place? Uh, Ashley, you scared the crap out of us. I could see that. How would she... How did she know that we were in here? Oh, she probably... Todd probably told her. Man, am I glad to see you, Ash. I thought we were done for. I thought you had to watch Benjamin. My dad came home early, so I rode over here straight away. Sorry for giving you guys a scare. I... Is that Mr. Packerton? Is he... It was him. He's gone now. He's finally at peace. Dang. And please don't tell me this is what's been going in the baloney. I hope not. Uh, I'm not sure. There's still one room we haven't uh, looked in yet. We need to get in uh, in there before we leave. Oh, check this out. While we were hiding, I found this key under the dresser. How convenient. Uh, it, it, yeah, it's got to be the key, right? Anything to get out of this room. We're in. Oh, there's a lot of people missing. I was right. It is humans. What in the... Oh, my God. 
What in the hills have eyes is this? This can't be good. Yeah, you don't you don't say another freaking combo lock. It's some kind of slaughter factory in here. God. They, they think they did say that there was loud noises. That would make a lot of loud noises. How do you even set that up? Okay, th I, this thing with the numbers probably has to be something with the combination. Uh, I wonder what it is though. Okay, all right, all right. So maybe the amount, maybe the number of people. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that would be six people. Maybe the candles are just to throw me off. Because if I count it, it just doesn't make any sense. Because there's like seven things down here, but it doesn't go to seven. And the only other thing I can think of is the candles. But what I I don't know how to put that in order though. Maybe the candles go. F I don't know, man. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven candles. Eight candles. And eight would be two. But I I feel like I'm doing this in the wrong order. Wait, look at the blood marks on the wall next to the freezer. Oh, down here? But that's not very clear though. Wait, is it on the freezer or next to the freezer? Yo, this one is not obvious. I was like thinking of the tools. Apparently that's not it at all. Oh my God, when you, they're right there. How did I not notice that? It's so obvious now. So it's one, four, one, three. I can't. <laughs> I was like, I had this whole thing going on, and it was not that. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I called it. I freaking called it. We're in way over our heads here. We need to get help. There are no bones. What? There aren't any bones in here. It's all just meat. Oh my god. Dude, no, come on. Oh. Ash is right, we should get some help. Don't you see, there's no one who can help us. Every time something happens, it's covered up. The Colt, Luke, Charlie, Mr. San Mrs. Henderson, who knows what else this place has uh, hidden. We can't trust the cops and we can't tell our parents because they'll want to go to the police. They haven't believed anything we've told them about. Then what do we do? I don't know, man. Things just keep getting worse. Packer Ted's chopping people up and serving them up to... Ugh. I don't think I'll ever look at baloney the same ever again. That makes complete sense. I mean, I did call that it was probably made out of people, but at the same time, that makes complete sense, right? Well, well, what? You asked why I don't eat the baloney, and I told you why. Of all the fantastical stories you like to spin, you're really not going to tell us what happened next, and they don't believe. Look it, your head's been opened. I could clearly see that they've done something to you. Why bother? You probably don't believe what I've set up until now. Anyways, the story just gets more unbelievable from this point. Plus, you're probably gonna cut it up to make it sound like a lunatic on TV. Give us the rest of the story, and we'll air it in its entirely. Without cuts, without cuts, I promise you. I heard you mention Todd Morrison's name before we start. Did you visit him? They won't tell me anything here. Yes, we shot a segment on him uh, yesterday. Is he okay? Is he still in the hospital? Why? Why is he in the hospital? I'll tell you what, you finish the baloney story and I'll tell you what uh, about Todd. It's not done? Before uh, we left Mrs. Packerson's room, Ash noticed something else. Hey guys, come look at this. Oh. There's some kind of trash chute hiding behind the, that painting. That's weird, this building doesn't have any trash chutes. It doesn't look like it goes outside, there's no light coming in. Uh, be careful, Ash. I wonder where it leads. Oh, she fell, of course. This is probably where she throws the bones. Think about it. Ash, are you okay? No, 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 this can't be happening. Please, let her be okay. We have to find where this leads to. Uh, I'm gonna shimmy down. It's the only way. Dude, no, you're not thinking straight. What if you fall too uh, far or land on her? Is she still alive? What? That could kill her. Okay, yeah, you're right. Let's think. Uh, okay, I don't even know how to try to read it. I know where it goes. What? Never mind. Just get Todd and meet me in the basement. What's going on? Uh, what did you see? Is, uh, is Ashley okay? Everything's going to be okay. Come uh, help me with this. Oh, there's a door? No one has used this apartment in a long time. It's in rough shape, but Addison can't afford the renovations. It needs uh, just like the fifth floor. Uh, I'm calling it. Definitely bones in there for sure. Is this what you saw in your vision cell? It doesn't work exactly like that. It's more like a feeling of heightened intuition. 
All right, you lead the way, Larry, and I will uh, offer support uh, however we can. Why would a math teacher be like this? They go teaching math during the daytime and freaking killing people? It's locked. Wait, one of those keys from Packerson? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot about those. Perfect. There's nothing in here. Give me a minute to look around. This carpet is torn up here. It looks like... So it unravels, I'm guessing. Guys, come check this out. Dude, there must be an un undocumented sub-basement level. It's definitely not any of the blueprints that I've seen. Perhaps an old dirt cellar or something of the like. Well, this place was built on top of something, wasn't it? <laughs> I had no idea this was here. The third key for Mrs. Packerson fits in this door. Ash must be down here. It's the only place that she, uh, the chute could lead to. Oh my god, this looks like freaking cookie companions. Let's go. What the heck? May our sight pierce the heavens and our reach be infinite and everlasting. Well, this looks bad. Incredible. This architecture must date back multiple centuries at least. Centuries of blood and demon worship. This is freaky as heck. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, which likely means the area is presented vacant and has been, um, presently vacant and has been for a while. Let's hope that the malvolent uh, history of this place remains in the past. Well, we need to get through that gate somehow. There appears to be an absence of any uh, obvious mechanisms to move the large gate. There must be built into the walls. It's likely the uh, apparatus for opening the gate is hidden. We better split up and search the room. Yeah, it looks just like the Game Boy thing. An old leather bound book with the symbol of a goat's head on the cover. The text is written in another language and the pages smell like rotten flesh. This book gives me an oddly strong sensation of deja vu. It's a bit strange that this place has light bulbs. They must have been installed later on. Though, this green bulb in particular is fascinating. I've never seen a bulb quite like it. How do you turn it on? That's another mystery. There's no visible switches. I've looked all around the area. Who built this place? Well, we're definitely gonna find Larry's dad, right? An old that okay, another book. Blood is splattered on some of the pages, and the book is burned across the bottom edge. Touching this makes me feel lightheaded, as if it's producing a strange energy. Oh, there we go, there we go. When in doubt, just get the gear, boy. How nice if we made an object that we needed for this. <laughs> Dude, those little obelisk things just got bigger. Scope it out. Pull the lever. Oh, it's puzzle time. <laughs> hey. God, you have to go through so much just to get in. Oh, okay. What are you trying to give me? A heart attack? That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Sorry, I got this gate open for a second, but the switch won't stay down. Todd, can you come and stand on this? Larry and I can go find Ash while you make sure that we don't get locked in. He's gonna be the lookout. What? I feel like he's gonna die. No, but Ash is in there somewhere, so let's go. Be safe, you two. I don't want to lose anyone else down here. Looks like there are two ways. Man, uh, the quality like really improved during this chapter. I, I can kind of tell. Alright, so there's two ways. We better split up. I was afraid you were gonna say that. You know, that you have to split up. Why do these things always happen to me while playing as Larry? Crap, this place is like a maze. Oh, what is this inventory? A rock? It's like this weird stone I found on the ground. There's nothing special about it. Just like it was so sweet, so I kept it. <laughs> Key card. It's dad's old lighter. I always thought it looked so cool. I don't know why I still carry it around. I hardly ever use it. Guess I like having a part of him with me. It's like Asuna from Naruto. Oh, it's another one of those noise things. If there's noise going. Oh, it's like literally the game playing over again, huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> I figured if I just walked around enough, I'd figure it out. Oh, there's two segments, of course. All right, here we are. An old book with a wooden cover. There's a solid black circle carved into the front that's made of a different type of wood. The frail green pages are covered in painted symbols. I can't make any sense of it, but it leaves a bitter taste in my mouth. Oh, it's the same freaking puzzle. I don't even know how I solved the last one. Oh. <laughs> uh, just, I'm just a, a genius. What can I say? Hey, 
Hey, good timing. I think we have to pull these levers at the same time to open the gate. We must have walked around in a big circle. The room behind that gate is in the center of the place. Is this last? It's the last room. Ash has to be back there. Huh? I think this weird hexing from Mrs. Patterson. Oh, the thing. Okay. Is she like the ringleader? Whoa. There, there's the bones. I knew the bones were there. Oh, that's awful. She landed right on them, surely. It's another book pedestal, but this one has nothing on it. So I got, I need a book. Oh, she looks dead. All right. Ash, are you okay? Is she, she's still breathing. Come on, help me get her up. Wait, she's awake. Uh, what's going on? Where are we? Dude, you fell into the stupid trash dude. I thought we lost you for good. I'm so glad we found you. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Just a little fuzzy and sore. No broken bones. Well, none of mine at least. <laughs> Ash, uh, you wouldn't believe what we went through to find you. It's all thanks to Sally. He had one of his vision thingies and then he found this old cellar in the basement. And then we went down these long creepy stairs and then we found this crazy freaking cult. Temple or some crap down here. Then there's all these puzzles and traps and mazes and Todd. Todd's holding the front gate over for us. We should go back. Wow, this is so much to take in. I can't believe all this is right below the apartments. Thanks for coming uh, for me. I don't know what I'd do without you guys. She'd be in those piles of bones, probably. So what are we going to do about all this? Mrs. Packerton has killed a lot of people and the baloney, ugh. We can't just ignore this. Definitely not. Judging by what you guys have told me about the inner rooms of the temple and Miss, about Mrs. Packerton's apartment, it could be possible that she's gotten herself wrapped up in an occult as well. Well, if uh, the congregation has long s since dissolved, she could have stumbled upon this door just as all we have. Or maybe she la or maybe she's the last remaining member trying to carry out whatever their plans uh, were on her own. You don't think she's trying to bring the red-eyed demon back, do you? Hopefully not, but we'll, we'll be prepared if she does. Man, we need to stop her, preferably like before that happens. I know going to the local police is an option. Maybe we should call the state police or the FBI or something. At least this time our parents can't deny what's happening. They'll help us once we show them what's below this uh, building and what Packerton has been doing. Ash is right, we should get our parents involved this time. Maybe we should just kill her. What? Mrs. Packerton, maybe we should kill her. She's uh, old, so it shouldn't be that hard. We can't just kill someone, Larry. Uh, well, you already did it, Sal. Normally I would be against harming others, but in this case, Larry might be right. Todd, Larry, seriously, you guys? Think about all the strange, unexplainable occurrences that happen in Addison Apartments and in Knockerfell in general. The more I think about it, the less likely it becomes that Mrs. Packerson is acting alone. She must be getting outside help. It would explain the police cover-ups uh, of Charlie and the Holmes family murders. Can't we just show them the door? And all the bones, right? Unless they're in on it too, is that what they're saying? I guess that makes sense. Sal, uh, you were saying something similar earlier today. I don't know, uh, maybe this does fall on us to take care of. Maybe. You know, the biggest worries normal teenagers have are petty things, like being popular and having nice hair. Not us, though. We just have to worry about saving the world, I guess. So what happened? We decided to sleep on it. It was nearly morning anyway, and everyone was beyond exhausted. And the teacher? What did you decide? Did you go to the police? I uh, didn't have to. Turns out Packerton got into a car accident on the way home. Dang! That same night, she and the other drivers were killed on impact. Wow, that's quite convenient. You can look it up for yourself if you don't believe me. It was on the front page the next day. Beloved Knockville High teacher killed by drunk driver. Of course, you won't find anything about the dead bodies in the apartment or how she was feeding the students human flesh. She, uh, that was all covered up. I don't care if you don't believe me. It's the truth and you said you would uh, air the full story. Don't worry, Sal. It's all, it will be aired in full. I always keep my word and I think the people will be very interested in what you have to say. Everyone is watching you now. You spoke with a great fondness about your friend Ashley. I understand that you two are very close. You even consider her one of your best friends along with Larry Johnson and Todd Morrison. Is that true? Yes. Have you seen this? The Sally Face Killer trial today for mass murder including entire family? Even the dad? Sources say that the prosecutor will call Ashley Campbell to testify against the Sally Face Killer. Campbell's a longtime friend of Sally Face, and they were said to be very close in their high school years. What? Aw, oh, the tears. 
What about Todd? You said you'd tell me about Todd. All right, of course. So what happened that made freaking Ashley go against Sal? We shot a segment on Morrison yesterday. He's still in the hospital after what happened that night. He's still out of it, unresponsive, still not talking, so uh, we couldn't have a conversation with him. We mostly spoke with his doctor. I'm sorry, Sal. Apparently, Morrison hasn't shown any signs of improvement. In fact, his condition has been getting worse. They say that the damage he suffered that night is irreversible. He doesn't know fantasy from reality, and he wants to die. When he is denied the release of death, he becomes extremely violent. I need to help him. Somehow, I need to help him. Even the doctors are trained professionals. Haven't been able to help Todd. How do you suppose that you'll be able to? Because I know the truth. I know what really happened. I know what's wrong with Todd. Oh man, some of those demons. I knew it! Get the gear boy out! Oh, sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to give you a little bit of a jump scare there. Full of baloney. Oh, we playing the guitar and everything? So cool. All right, I'm gonna take my face away. So after whatever happened, you're just playing the guitar? Sunny, 333. I'm awake. I'm uh, awake already. Sorry. Keep jump scaring you. Oh, it's another nightmare, clearly. This chapter was so much different. Beezlebub, who are you? I am Lord Beezlebub. Uh, who really? Uh, so you're like the devil or something? No, it is a nickname bestowed upon me by my kin. Family can be rough, indeed. Uh, can I get into the door? We've only just arrived. No, you may not pass through my doorway. You must first admire my arts. Your arts, yes. In the dark, there are five. The fifth you mustn't see. Of the remaining four arts, you must gaze upon uh, three. Once you have done so, report back to me. All right, whatever you say, Edgar. It's Beezlebub, Lord Beezlebub. Okay, bubs. So I have, to gave, I have to gaze upon three of the four arts, but I can't see the fifth one. There was a knock at the door and I could see again. I was me again. Suddenly it forced my hand and this freedom was revealed to be only an illusion. I was forced to watch everything, a prisoner of my own mind. I have done terrible things, unforgivable things. What have we done to deserve such agony? They're, they were determined to devour us all and nothing could stop them. The burning lights of the gods have faded, their watchful eyes turned to horrified screams, and then everything was black. Alrighty then. I'm gonna skip the third one, go to four. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Oh, there was freaking, there's clues in these. Indeed. No, is that what it says? Okay, so there's two eyes. There's, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight faces, but one on the floor, so maybe nine? I don't know what these messages mean. Uh, one, two, three, four? I don't know. I was broken before he found me, scattered and lost. Then he looked up on my face and saw all of me at once. After being discarded by everyone uh, else, after years of not being seen or heard, he saw me and we were in love. And everything was perfect until it all fell apart again. There is only pain. Oh. No, I'm sure to guessing. I don't know. I thought there would be numbers. Okay, so apparently those symbols represent numbers? How am I supposed to get numbers out of that? Oh, because only one of the symbols of each one are a real thing. Okay, so it goes through one, zero through eight. So that means it would be... I still don't understand. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you guys don't give a crap, right? Let's see. Yeah, no, I don't think I would have ever got that, honestly. That was pretty dang confusing. Three, four, two, six, nine, seven. All right, I'm taking a picture of that. Oh, what the heck is this? Her soul was corrupted by the dark, by hunger, by isolation. She suffered uh, greatly. Though our union, we have through our union, we have saved her. We are the endless echoes within oblivion. We are all that is, was, and ever will be. Um, okay. Okay, so... Her fates? Oh, do I have to put it in order? 
peering eyes. They are filled with regretted sorrow. Their sins. They are in a lot of pain. They are heartbroken. They've lost touch with the reality. Can I go through the door now? Once you go through the door, there's no going back. Thank you. You're welcome. See you, bubs. Always gotta check if you can go back. Yo, this is crazy. That's a lot of ECRs. Hello? Is anyone listening? Is anyone there? Please, I need help. I can't remember who I am. It's so dark here. I remember a blinding light that a burning pain washed over me Then I was here. I can't shake this feeling of loss and despair. Am I dead? What's wrong with her mouth? Okay, does that code have something to do with this? So, if I exit... Well... I guess we're gonna be coming back. Hey, what the heck? We're an adult? Or, uh, well, bigger now. Hey, Totoro over there? That's cool. Hey, we got some class. Alright. The guitar is definitely looks different. Uh, where's my cell phone? This is freaking Sally Face Shippuden. GameCube? Man, I grew up on the GameCube, man. Our very own, our very own local mystery. In other news, uh, Knockfeller Mills was engulfed in flames this morning. That's worrying. Gizmo. So we're in a house now. We're not even in the apartments anymore, are we? Dude, really? Where do you keep getting these stickers? <laughs> Good question. We just updated the lock and I'm not sure what Todd set the new code to. Oh, I gotta get a code. So many puzzles. Oh wait, I just started episode four. <laughs> How long? Okay. The game did not tell me. At least I don't think it did. But anyway, guys. That was it. That was episode three. Uh, I'm really getting interested in this story. It's getting really, really crazy. So many questions. Like, what happened to all the friends, right? It's like, why are they all against him? Why is Larry dead? What's behind the mask? <laughs> That's the thing. I, I need to know. So, guys, if you enjoyed this, smash like. Thank you so much for supporting the series. And, uh, yeah, can't wait to play some more. All right. Bye-bye.